Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to do a really great card trick. It's quick, it's, uh, it's visual, it's easy. Overall, just a really great trick. Uh, what happens is you take out four random cards from the deck and then in one quick sudden movement those four cards change into the four aces. Okay. If you want to get a, a, a better idea of what this trick looks like and how it's supposed to do, how it's supposed to be done, uh, I'll put a link in the description box down below to a to a quick performance video. I think it's like 50 seconds long or something, so you can check that out, and then you'll have a better understanding of how how this trick works and the timing and everything like that. So uh, once once you've watched that, let's let's continue on with uh, how to do it. So your setup is the four aces on top of the deck. Okay, and you can start off with any series of false shuffles or false cuts that you want to do, but in the end you want to have the four aces on top. Now you need to have four random cards taken out of the deck. Um, so you can do this any way you want. Maybe you can dribble the cards and ask someone to say stop at four random locations. Or uh, you can just spread the cards out and have someone touch the back of any four cards, as long as uh, one of the aces isn't touched, which is easy because they're right on top. So you're going to have four cards taken out. As you close the spread, what you want to do is get a little pinky break uh, below the top four cards. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy to do. As you close up, you kind of just eyeball four cards from the top, and you get your little break right there. And now you're going to say something like, okay, let's let's take a look at which cards you touched. You, flip, you take the cards, you flip them face up on top of the deck. So now you have an eight card break. What you're going to do next is a really great card switch. It's uh, invisible, it's perfectly justified, all that good stuff. So what you're going to do is lift up and on all of those eight cards, the eight card packet. Now some of you might be slightly nervous about holding eight cards as four cards, uh, but don't worry about it because it's perfectly covered. Here's how I hold the packet. Okay, so I have my thumb that's covering the entire back edge. I have my fingers which are covering the entire front edge. My right hand is covering the right edge. The only exposed angle really is the left edge, but due to how this count works or how the switch works, the, the left edge is never exposed. So don't don't worry at all about holding such a thick packet. So here's here's how the switch works. You're going to be switching uh, you're going to be switching these cards out for the aces in the process of displaying which cards th they touched. So you say, okay, let's say let's see uh, which which cards you picked. You pick the the seven of hearts. You're going to slide that card to the left, and then you're just going to flip it over on top of the deck. You touch the nine of diamonds the king of hearts, and then after that third card, you're just going to drop the remaining cards right on top. And you say, and you touch the six of clubs. All right, so your current situation now is these three cards, which they think are the cards that you just showed them, are actually now the three aces, and then the fourth ace is right beneath them. Really cool switch, huh? Okay, so... What you're going to do now is, I guess this is uh, the part that I kind of want to focus on because I see a lot of people, at this point what they'll do is they'll take the last card, they'll deal it down onto the table, then they'll deal the three aces, which are supposed to be the cards they just saw, down into a row like this. Then what they do is they take the card that they just dealt onto the table back onto the deck, and then they separate the cards from the deck. So that whole sequence makes no sense at all. Uh, but still, I see a whole bunch of people do that. So what I do to kind of combat the 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 fishiness of that whole situation is, you know, really what you need is a way to justify separating this card from the deck, bringing it back to the deck, and then separating it from the deck again. So here, here's how I do it. After I finish that switch, I pinch this last card in between my first and second fingers, and then I say, okay, let's deal those cards out to the t onto the table. So with one hand, or even I could use my, my right hand as well, I deal three cards onto the table in kind of a messy way. Sloppy, kind of like that. And now what I do is, you know, I'm, I'm justified in bringing this card back to the deck 
because now I need this hand in order to rearrange these cards into a neat row. So that's how I make sense of it all. Alright, and then from there I can separate this card again. So it's a much cleaner, much more natural way of doing it. It just makes makes more sense. So let me uh, just uh, backtrack for a second. You're going to pinch the card, deal three cards down in sloppy way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push over the top card just a little bit and get a little pinky break below it. You bring this card back, leave it side jogged for a second. As you are rearranging these cards into a neat row, I pull this card flush with the uh, with the rest of the deck. Okay, so I have a neat row, and they say, "Okay, watch this." And then I usually do a, a two card push off, but you can just pick up those two cards, and you're gonna slide them under the three cards that were just dealt onto the table. You lift up, balance the cards, and you know you say something, don't blink, whatever. And here's what's happening. Under the guise of these three cards, here's what you're doing with your right hand. All right, so without any cover, that's a pretty bad color change. But when you're doing it underneath these three cards, it actually looks very good. So I'm kind of tilting my wrist to the right, and then I'm doing this. So the, the idea is these cards, all three of these cards will flip over, and over here you will also see an ace. So it will take just a little bit of practice there to to get uh, the, the kind of flip that you want, but something like that. And if, you know, sometimes you may have one card that remains face down, just go ahead and turn it over. All right, so there's one last thing that I need to talk about right there, is that what you do with those right hand cards right after you do the switch. So you're gonna have your little row, you're gonna do your flip uh, like this, you're gonna do your flip, and immediately you're gonna take these cards, bring them back to the deck, and then you're going to thumb off the single ace. Just like that, you have your four ace production. So that whole sequence happens in less than a second. Just like that. So check out the performance video. That will give you a much better idea of the timing of all that and what it actually looks like. But that's that's the, the trick in a nutshell. Um, definitely use this one. It's, it's really great. And uh, quick setup, big impact at the end. And it's a great um, starter trick. Because from here you can do any 4A trick that you want. Okay, so uh, that, that's all for now. I hope you guys like that, and I will see you next time. Bye.